Good day guys, I hope you guys are fine. Um, today we'll be treating conduction in myelinated nerve fibers. Um, that's um, conduction of impulses in myelinated nerve fibers. You know there is also conduction in unmyelinated nerve fibers, right? That's, but this one is conduction in myelinated nerve fibers, right? I also has a special name that is saltatory conduction, okay? Saltatory means dancing. So uh, myelinated nerve fibers are enclosed in a myelin sheet. Um, the myelin sheet consists of uh, compressed layers of Schwann cells, which are wrapped around the axons in a spiral fashion. The myelin is rich in lipids and are excellent for insulator. The myelin sheet is absent every one to three millimeters, giving rise to a constrictor known as what the node of Reinvia. And since myelin is an insulator, uh, an actual potential cannot induce a depolarization where a myelin sheet is present, okay? So the nearest point where an action potential can be induced, can induce depolarization electron tonically, is the nearest what, node of Reinvia. This is um, depolarization electrically, okay? Electrically, all right, let's run it out. So um, this is um, basically the saltatory conduction. You know, the, uh, this whole myelin, um, Schwann and myelin sheet is an insulator. So this is a node of Reinvia. So action, uh, action potentials have to move from here to the next node of Reinvia, okay? So that's the saltatory conduction in myelinated nerves, all right? So um, the depolarization induced at the node is what? Supra threshold and leads to an action potential. This action potential then leads to the excitation of the next node of Reinvia. Thus, the impulse jump from node to node. That is why conduction in a myelinated nerve fiber is called what? Saltatory conduction. That's derived from the word saltia, that's to dance. That's what I told you guys. So saltatory conduction um, provides at least two advantages. And um, this is um, also the saltatory. It has to move from here to here. It can't go here, right? Because it's an insulator. Okay. So um, for a given diameter, it gives a higher conduction velocity as much as what? 5 to 10, uh, 5 to 50 folds, okay? Because the actual potential don't have to go everywhere. It just have to go to selective places. Those are the nodes of Reinvia, okay? So the velocity of conduction in nerve fibers vary um, from as little as what 0 0.2 um, meter per second, 0 0.25 meter per second in every in in very small unmyelinated fibers to as high as what 100 millimeter per second in in very large myelinated fibers. It conserves energy because only the nodes depolarize. That's why I told you that the axon potential don't have to move in every place. It has to move from selective places, right? allowing perhaps 100 times less the loss of ions than would otherwise be necessary and therefore requiring little metabolism for re-establishing of what? Sodium potassium concentration. So um, difference across the membrane after a series of nerve impulses, okay? So basically, guys, this is a conduction in myelinated nerve fibers, all right? I would say that it has a name that's a saltatory um, conduction, okay, where um, the action potentials have to move from one node of Reinvia to another. We said that it saves energy and um, it conserves energy too, okay. So see you guys in the next tutorial as we continue on the excitation, um, excitable tissues, all right. So see you guys. Bye for now.